Have you ever been watching a movie or a video and the dialogue scenes look like this? I, uh, I didn't, I didn't really know what, what I was gonna do. My name is Nick. I'm a video producer here in Ontario, Canada. And today I'm gonna be showing you the three best ways that you can sync your audio inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm actually using a film that we had shot for the 48 hour film festival here in Toronto, and it's going to serve its purpose today for syncing up audio. Uh, this project has already been finished and released and we got third place at the festival. So I've gone ahead already and set up a project here instead of DaVinci Resolve um, that we're going to use as our sample project. Now, the first way that I'm going to show you guys and probably the most common way that I use um, like 90% of the time is the waveform sync. Now, the way the waveform sync works um, is it takes basically your scratch audio or the audio coming out of your camera um, or a microphone that you may have attached and it's taking the waveforms and lining it up with your good audio that you may capture separately um, from uh, like an audio recorder or something as such. Now, the way you go about doing that, so inside of the project here, so I have my video clip here with my, you know, audio that was recorded into camera. And then down here I have my uh, boom audio that was recorded from our sound guy. So super simple, super easy. You're essentially gonna go in, you're gonna highlight both clips. You're gonna right click. You're gonna go up to auto align clips and you're gonna go based on waveform. Gives it a second to load and boom, we are synced up. So when I go back and I play it now. Messy all the time. Everything. Everything is all synced up. Now here's the thing. The key to making this method work is you have to have good scratch audio. So if you're going to use the waveform sync method and you're following all the steps and it's not syncing up, chances are you probably don't have good scratch audio. Um, scratch audio is the audio that is coming out of your camera or it's a microphone that's attached to your camera. Um, it's basically the original source of where the audio is coming from because waveform sync relies on that original audio to be able to match up your good audio to it. So as an example, if I open up, you know, this this scene here where we shot this outside, I remember this day, it was a super windy day, lots of wind. My camera audio couldn't really pick up the actors. And even if you listen to it back here on the original audio, you can hear all that wind noise. So. You know, in this instance, if I was to try to go ahead and, you know, follow the same methods and use the waveform sync, I'm hit back with this auto sync failed. It just, it, that, uh, my good audio can't detect, you know, where the waveforms are to match it up in the scratch audio. So, in a situation like this, in this instance, this camera didn't have time code. So, what would I do? Well, I would use our second method, which is manual sync. Now, the best way that I find when you're doing any form of manual sync, you're either using a slate or you're having your talent or yourself or actors clap their hands. You need to make a spike in the waveform as a reference point to where you can line up that audio. So in this instance, we used a slate. So I'm gonna go ahead here and find the, the mark where our slate hits, which is right about here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go frame by frame to the moment when the slate claps, I'm going to place a marker on that clip. And you can see it right there, that little blue icon. Now I have my keybind set up so that way when I hit M, it makes a marker. I'm pretty sure that's the default way to do it. Um, but if that's not working for you, this little icon up here, you can press that and that makes a marker on your clip. And then I'm gonna go to our good audio and listen to it back again. Camera B. And that little, that you heard, that little clap. Camera B. Right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand my waveform and you can see it right there. That longer line in the in the waveform and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my playhead i'm going to match it right up to that part or just about hit m on my keyboard to place a marker it's as simple as dragging this so that way it those markers line up and now we're synced up we're good to go 
So if I play it back here now on our good audio. So do I. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> through, my, through my set of nines out. We're good to go. Now let's just say you don't have a slate or you didn't clap before your take. How am I gonna line up my audio? Well, the, the methods that I find or what works best for me is I'll often look for words like, you know, that start with a P or a B where I can, you know, look at their lips and see, you know, an emphasis on how they move in the sound. I'm looking for that popping sound and then I'm gonna try to line up the clip right to about that point because I'm looking in the waveform and I can see that those P's or those B's is gonna create that spike. Um, and then I'll use that method to try to sync everything up. It's not the best way. Ideally, you're gonna wanna have a clap or a slate. Try to remember that. But if you know you are in a situation and you don't have that, that's, that's the best way to do it. Now the third method, which is probably the easiest method and probably the best uh, method to use, um, in my opinion, is time code sync. Well, let's say you're filming sporadically throughout the day, you're filming a documentary or you're filming you know, multiple people and you're stopping and recording, but your audio keeps rolling. That's gonna take you eons to have to go through and try to manually sync and waveform sync up each piece of audio. Time code will ensure that you can throw everything into your project. You can highlight it all, sync by time code, and instantly everything will be lined up no having to search around and figure out what pieces go where. Now, in order to use time code and sync, you will have to have um, some sort of gear that can, you know, record time code and sync time code across your, you know, your camera or your audio recorder. Um, so in this instance, on this film, we did have that. And if I open up this scene here, it's literally as simple as highlighting both clips like you did for the waveform sync, right clicking going down to auto align clips and then based on time code boom instant done there this this works as long as your time code and everything is set properly from when you're filming this is a foolproof method this will work every single time so hopefully you learned a thing or two about syncing audio these are the methods that i use on a day-to-day -day basis comment down below on what your preferred method is and don't forget to like subscribe and comment on the video until next time happy filmmaking